Welcome back to Carmistry College. Now, um, so where we last were, uh, prior to um, uh, marking out, we finished all our marking out, and we're now going to produce uh, this, uh, a through mortise, uh, sorry, a through dovetail, a, a dovetail halving, uh, and then a dovetail housing from these two pieces of timber. We are going to produce those things. So, first of all, I'm going to be cutting our... Right, so I'm going to be cu cutting these off here, this through dovetail, and then afterwards I shall that mark onto that, get that one done. And after that I should then do that one to there. And then this one is going to be here. So there's three. So I'm just going to knife round in readiness for cutting the shoulders for my dovetail uh, across here, there, there, here, there. So this is what I'm going to do. Right, so, so what I'm going to do is just put that chisel on my already knifed with the cut, uh, cutting gauge line. So I'm just re reinforcing that line. And then what I'm going to do now is just tilt my chisel into the shoulder. Oh, come on, Flint. And then... I'll just do that there. Let's take that off there. Um, I'm just going to re I'm just going to cut that across there. Knife that there and there, like that. Just taking that in, taking that in. Okay, so let's get in that little bit there. There. I'll turn that around there. So I'm just call it creating a trench for my saw. And also it stops a break up because I'm gonna be sawing along here first and then I'm gonna cut that those shoulders there. That's what I'm gonna do. Nice. So now what I'm gonna do now is cut my 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 tail, my dovetails. So I'm gonna cut on what we call the waist side, which is gonna be the outside using my tenon saw. So here we go. So we're gonna run. <laughs> The same, repeat the same on the other side of the dovetail. Two. 
So in the, in, in the corner there, I'm going to neaten out or crisp out the fibres that are still sticking in the corner there, like there. Look. You know, just make it a nice crisp shoulder. So when it all comes together, it comes together nice and tight, that's all. Yeah, so just a little bit of tweak in there. Not too much, but just a little bit. Okay, so so now I've cut the dovetail. I'm gonna mark the dove, this dovetail onto here. So then I'm gonna cut this out and then that's going to fit into there. So that's the next move. So I put this in the vise. I need something also. Um, I mean, just to prop up, so a bit of um, timber, just any, anything that's gonna, uh, just as so that I can move this back here like that. I'm going to mark the tent, the dovetail onto there. Now, why I've used this piece because I don't really uh, want to rest that on top of there like that, and then mark that on there like so, because I could have done that. But I want to successively line up this with this edge. So if I get another piece of timber and raise that to the here, like a fresh piece, of, like, it's like an extension of that um, bench. Yeah, nice and clean. Keep that level to there. So I'll move that in there like that. All right, keep that nice and level. When I say level, meaning flush with this thing. So this is flush. Okay, so with that, and then this rests on top of there, move that back to there, so that's another support. Then I can line up the side of the um, material with the side of that, so I'll keep that like that. So let me just right, look on this side. A few tricks each, don't you? Mm. So using it like that, so using the flatness. So, so, because you can't mark it like that, because that'd be wrong. If you, what I'm saying is, obviously, clearly it's wrong. It's in the wrong place. So this is why that helps by using your square. And then the other thing is, is that if that's back there, that's wrong as well. Because that means when you fit it, it's going to have a gap. But this one is going to be that shoulder is going to be in line with this sh this line here, the edge of the timber. So it's important that, that that is done before you mark it. Now, I'm always double checking and checking it all the time. I'm gonna use in this instance, a little craft knife, just to copy what I'm doing here, which is this marking that tail. Now, it's the case of just scoring it as few times, so mark it a few times prior to moving it away. All right, so. Probably about five, move five, six times. So just marking that through. So this makes it so that when you fit this together, it's gonna to be nice and tight. So let's go on this side. Okay, so. Now, you could hardly see it there, but it, there is a line there. Now I'm just going to get a marker just to make sure. Right, I'm just highlighting where my cutout is going to be, yeah, by just marking it in pen. Now you, I could have also marked it with a pencil, which is fine, yeah, but um, but with a knife, is that's that more precise. Hopefully it'd be, it will be a nice, like, tight fit with a knife because you can get right close. Like you can also mark, I could have still marked it with a pencil. I'm going to mark down here with a pencil, actually, so um, that's okay as well. So, when I say down here, I mean, from those, mark, that mark there, you can oh, yeah. see. So, this is, this is the line. So, I'm going to run my pencil down here like this, but using the square, obviously, because it's got to be square like that. So I'm going down there. Let me just get that. So I'm just going to go down here like this. The same again, using the square, see, down there. And then do it on the opposite edge. So here. And 
the other place is there. So I'm squaring these lines down right here, like that. Right. So it's just going to be a bit more. I'm just going to do that one again. Not quite happy with that one. Okay, so now I'm going to cut down here and there, following those lines. So, so. Um, I have a dovetail saw here, and suppose it, and this other one is a general tenon saw. So, with dovetail saws, they have teeth. We regulate teeth per twenty-five mil. So, for every, so for example. Uh, on a dovetail saw, the teeth range between 14 and 18 uh, per 25 mil. So for 25 mil, there will be 18 teeth, uh, sorry, 13 to 18 teeth per 25 mil. So that means that's a finer cut. This is why we use a dove, that's why I hence the name dovetail saws, because I'm producing a dovetail here. With a tenon saw, the range is gonna be between about approximately between 10 and 13 teeth per 25 mil. So you have less teeth, therefore the cut is gonna be more of, not a rough cut as such, but it will be a bit rougher than obviously a fine dovetail. So what I'm doing now here, I'm gonna cut down here. This is for my uh, tail to sit into, which is a tail. I mark that on, so I'm gonna go down. So I'm going to cut along there, then down, and then I'm going to take out the waste with a coping saw, and then I'm going to clean it up. Okay, so. So now I'm going to um, use my coping saw and remove this bit. Obviously, not go right the way down. This is as far as that red line. And that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to turn the coping saw. To do that, uh, I was just gonna slide this down here, down that cut, and just slide, and then just move the blade a bit. And then I'm going to just turn this around.
So I've removed the the part uh, which is going to for my tails to come in. So my socket. This is what we would call our socket. So I've left a little bit on there like that. When I say a little bit, loads on there really. So I'm going to chisel back to my to this line. You'll see on the same that side. So I have to put this onto the pinch like that, and then get a block of yeah, wood like, that, like you want. I'm going to clamp that on here like that. Yeah, using my S clamp. Right, so I'm just gonna move this a bit closer. Right, so right, so I'm gonna start just chiseling down with a eighteen mil bevel edge chisel only so far because of the shape of the dovetails I'm only going to go like that so I'm going to make a start now so I'm just going to a little bit at a time So, I'm going to turn this around, instead of using, um, I'm not going to use this one, I'm going to use a 13mm uh, chisel, but coming the other way. What I'm doing now, I've, I've, this is our socket. Now I've slightly hollowed in the middle there, yeah, because it's not going to be seen, but also I'm checking with the square that it's going to, when that dovetail fits, it's going to fit nice and tightly because how I don't know that. I'm using the inside of that square and making sure 
there's no bumps in the middle. And there shouldn't be because I've hollowed in the middle. That is, that is only slightly, nothing too big, just slightly. This is a way of making sure when that tail goes into it, it's gonna touch nice and tightly to the bottom of that socket, which is what this is. Okay, so the next thing now is this to, is to ease the actual dovetail into this socket there. Let me see. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do now is take it out of there. I'm doing now I've, I've this is our socket now i've slightly hollowed in the middle there yeah because it's not going to be seen but also i'm checking with the square that is going when that dovetail fits going to fit nice and tightly because how i die and know that i'm using the inside of that square and making sure there's no bumps in the middle and they shouldn't be because i've hollowed in the middle that is that is only slightly nothing too big just slightly this is a way of making sure when that tail goes into it it's going to touch nice and tightly to the bottom of that socket which is what this is okay so the next thing now is this to is to ease the actual dovetail into this socket together now a little bit of cheating here a little bit of uh a trade secret you can i'm going to just knock off this corner here this aris corner not too much because obviously because you won't be able to see it. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. Um, Cause it's slightly over. I'm gonna take the aris off of this corner, just that little bit. That helps when to ease this into, into the actual uh, socket itself. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna, what, I'm gonna show you what I mean. So let me take this away. Put that there. So what I'm saying is, is this corner, I'm just gonna take the Aris. The Aris, what I call the Aris is the sharp corners. Just lightly, in fact, just there like that. Just to take that corner off. This helps for when, um, and what you'll notice is that I've not taken it right away in because it's gonna show if I, if I do it at this end. It's gonna show when I actually put the whole thing together. So I'm only doing it where it's not gonna be seen. Because you're not gonna see that. This is a trade secret in relation to the, just getting that corner, sorry, just getting the, so it just helps in the in the overall fitting of the, uh, of the dovetail. So, so look, I've got a little bit of easing to do. There's a little bit of easing that I need to do there. It's that little bit, it's just fine. Yeah, it's just that little bit of the sides. I'm gonna just take it on the side. Right, you see how it's a bit uh, irregular, but right, with a saw, I'm just gonna make that a bit nicely flushed a little bit, and then that should be okay. So that's what I'm gonna do.
I'm doing now, I'm just gonna just lightly, just tweak up the sides of this uh, tail. It's that little bit just to help it in. Because you don't want to bash it in, it wants to be a nice snug fit, as it's called. So I'm just going to take that off at the side. So just really making sure it's nice and flat by, and I've done that by using a flat piece and, put, and putting it right next to the actual dovetail, slightly over, because you need to take something off. And this is what I'm doing, I'm taking a little bit off there now. Slicing it. There's not very much there. I'm just gonna turn this around, do the same. Right, so I'm trying to just make sure that I'm not gonna, yeah, so look, I don't really want to go too mad because I don't really want to spit with it. I think I need to take, ease off a bit more of it here. That's why I'm getting a bit resistance. I don't want that. It wants to be just a snug fit. You can see it's kind of biting here. Like, so that means that this, yeah, it wants a bit of tweaking. So if I tweak that, I'm gonna just tweak this side a minute. Actually, I'm gonna just tweak this side. Just wants a little bit more from here. So let me just put that back in the vise. Right, right, so so here, there's a little bit of a pinch there. You can see where it's been dented in. Well, I've tried to put it, put the put the, uh, the dovetail together. So I know that I need to ease a little bit off the side of there. That little bit there is just the pinching of. Yeah, because you don't want to force it because you don't want that to be split. If you force it, that's going to split. Especially here, split down there. Yeah, if I don't address that. So now I'm going to try this thing, this dovetail in. Right, it feels like it's gonna be all right. I'm just gonna tap it. Now, to tap that in, what I'm gonna do is just get myself a little block, really. Here we are. So it's just a case of me. And that's it. You, this little bit that's sticking over that will be get that will get planed, flush. So when you make them, you always make them oversized like that, and then they will be cleaned, and then you'll clean that level with the actual timber itself.